Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Ironclad Ascension Level 12. Did we win as the Ironclad last time? Hold up. I, I, I'm actually just curious more than anything else. Uh, wins as the Ironclad, not as the daily. Yeah, we won on the last Ascension mode run with a fully upgraded deck consisting of bludgeons. I remember. That bludgeon deck was a lot of fun. How could I forget? <laughs> Ironclad Ascension level 12, let's do it. Upgrade, random potions, two random colorless cards, random boss relic. I'm gonna go for the random colorless cards because I think that swapping out burning blood for another relic is honestly just not great. I love this relic, it's a good relic. So we do have three elites we can get to. I would like to fight three elites. And we can do it one of multiple paths. I like the question mark into campfire path because this means that we can do a few upgrades before the fight. I will say I'm not a big fan of madness or what is it? Good instincts. Not only just because I feel like on a deep on a sorry ironclad deck, I want more offense early than anything else, but also. You have to get Madness on a turn when you have an expensive card to really get super, super good value out of it, which is kind of tough to do sometimes. Body Slam Havoc Reckless. I have no idea. Take Reckless, because it's a card that is an attack that is free. But I don't really know what to take in that situation. Hit me for one. Well, you know what? Reckless did allow me to get the kill on that turn. I'll take a Shockwave. Shockwave is actually like a 10 out of 10 card in the deck, I think. There will almost never be a time when, as the Ironclad, I decide not to take a Shockwave for one. Or one Shockwave for two energy. I mean, we could, in theory, make it free if we play it with Madness and Madness hits the Shockwave, but... It's just so nice to put up a ton of vulnerability and weakness. You get a lot of value out of it. I know I should probably take Pommel, but... Battle Transfer the draw is nice, especially with Madness. I will take an Uppercut, and actually, let's remove a... Um, let's remove a Strike. With Uppercut, I feel like we can remove a basic Strike and be fine. So Reckless Charge doesn't really do all that much for us on this fight. It, it doesn't hurt us, it doesn't help us. We're gonna be dazed anyways, getting one extra daze in order to be able to do seven damage early. It's just like, who cares? Whatever, it's fine. You know, we draw one daze on this next turn and, as opposed to having to shuffle once. Oh no! <laughs> so that's a kill. I'm gonna attack instead of block. I'm gonna block. After this turn, we're basically gonna be playing whatever we get in our hand, so I figured let's block on that turn and attack on this next turn. Hey. Good for the good instincts. If we upgrade that, does it hit 8 block? Yes, so it's the same as a basic defend, it's just free. Which is nice for a card. By the way, we should have definitely definitely attacked on that turn like three turns ago, because then we would have killed him on this turn, so that's fantastic. But that's a good card to get upgraded. It just turns into a free defend without having to play madness on it. That's nice. We're gonna take another two. Honestly, this is not a bad elite fight, and we're definitely gonna upgrade, and we're gonna upgrade Uppercut. We don't need Limit Break, a Shrug is better, but we're gonna upgrade Uppercut because it's two turns of weakness and vulnerability before we can play uh, Shockwave, and there might be situations when we don't want to play Shockwave. You know, maybe we don't want to play it on this, well, we're gonna play it now, but maybe we wouldn't want to play it on this guy, you know? Yeah, 
Ancient T set is really nice there. And honestly, we'll play the attack. Oh! <laughs> we'll play the attack potion because, you know, we're somewhat likely to draw another. Uh... Another uh, potion from one of these fights. Dude, that was a great fight. We took one damage. Bottled Lightning. It's either going to be Shockwave or Battle Trance. Because we have Uppercut, I feel like we don't need Shockwave to be innate. I feel like I'd rather have an innate Battle Trance so we can just draw a good hand turn one. If, if we make Battle Trance innate, it's basically like we have the um, Backpack. You know? We could also make Madness innate. But that takes up a card slot. Dude, I gotta feel like Battle Trance is the way to go. Shockwave is really nice, though. Oof. I'll take the shockwave. I thought about it and then I decided that the shockwave was fine. Happy flower is great. You know, and I thought about it and I realized, you know, five weakness, five vulnerability, turn one. Even if it's two energy, that's still really strong. Uh, what are we gonna upgrade? We're gonna upgrade Probably, like, good instincts. We could rest, but I don't think we need to. We'll upgrade good instincts, because it's a free defend whenever we play it. Maybe we'll upgrade madness soon. I love when I get madness with shockwave, admittedly. Because now it's... I mean, actually, we want madness to hit the strike, now that I think about it. But now it's basically... a free shockwave if you play your other cards. Now, we don't get many cards on turn one, but we get some. And I'm liking this uh, reckless attack that we have. That's good damage, turn one. It's 19, not enough to kill. But you're dead, you're not gonna steal my money. We're gonna take another one damage. We took like five damage on the fight, I think? That's not bad. Remember to sometimes watch the amount of energy you have. That is a good point, Der Nunu. I will try to remember I have this happy flower. Sometimes it's hard, but I'll try. Power through and flame anger. Power through is really good. It's really, 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 really good. But in flame in order to have a little bit of scaling is also really nice. I'm gonna take the Inflame. Find some potions. <laughs> Worthless question mark, but that's okay. So like, yeah, let's do it in a different order. Shockwave, Madness, Free Defend, Strike. And uh, I'll save my potions for the elite fight we're about to have. Good. Itcha, itcha, you're dead. We get a strength potion. Probably better than poison. I do like rage. It does allow you to put up good block. Sure, we'll take it. Sentries. We just fought these guys. It wasn't that bad. Let's go shockwave. You know... Toss that explosive potion. Let's see if we can actually kill him turn one. Not quite. One of them's gonna live, but we'll kill him on the next turn. We'll take two damage. Strike. Shrug for the block, and uh, might as well defend. We only have one energy. We can't play Bash. On a long fight, power through is horrible, says Altered Bees. Unless, unless you have a uh, evolve, but because we don't have an evolve yet, I decided not to take it. But if you get evolve, then power through is fantastic. We had four energy, I remembered, kind of. 
So he's not gonna be vulnerable anymore, but we did a pretty good job on this fight, I think. We didn't take that much damage at all. We have Gurya for strength up at the beginning of combat. That seems lovely. I'm gonna skip cards because we have to do a lot of lifting now. We have to go and lift three times to get three strength up, but it's going to be so worth it in order to make all of our cards and all of our attacks just that much better. 10, 12, doesn't matter. Could have also popped the Strength Potion, but because we have Gurya, I kind of feel like it's not necessary. I hate this. We're gonna take seven. <laughs> Get those gains. I'm gonna defend because I want to play in flame before I start doing heavy attacks. So in flame, free block, draw, rage means I can attack. Should have probably played the bash. We do want him to be vulnerable for as long as possible, but that's kind of what the uppercut is for. Speaking of, we have two defends. It's worth doing. I wish I could hold on to cards. Runic Pyramid might be a good relic to take, but I think with a lot of two energy cards, I would be a lot happier. Yo. I'd be a lot happier taking an energy relic. I will also take Sneko Eye. We can get rid of Reckless Charge, we can get rid of Good Instincts, or just get rid of the other defense. But I think a Sneko Eye would be a wonderful pickup. 13, 13, we can get him to, th we can do 39 damage, which is not enough to cause him to split. So we're gonna do it like uh, this, I think. If I take Sneko though, we're gonna have to try to, well, we can't really try anything, but if we take Sneko, we would want to take a bludgeon after we kill this guy. Should have probably just killed him on the last turn, but it's not like we're not going to draw an attack. Um, Im immolate would also be nice. You know, a limit break totally fits. If we can get three strength up, then that limit break is now six strength up. And I think Velvet Choker absolutely fits. We don't play a lot of cards. And now we have four energy. This is a this has the makings of a really good deck and a really good run. So I want to hit question marks. Campfires, campfires, campfires. As many campfires as possible for upgrading. We can hit one, two on the right path. We can hit two on this middle path, but then we will have to fight two elites. I'll at least fight... Actually, we don't even have to fight that one. This is a perfect path for us, I think. We are going to get hit this turn, though. For one, he's gonna heal for one. Well, actually, we didn't do damage to him technically, so he's gonna heal for nothing. Madness makes uppercut free. That's wonderful. Um, I'd rather take no damage. We're three strength up. We can probably to smack this guy and kill him in a couple of turns, but I'd like to not take a whole bunch of damage. Would like to heal up a little bit. Yo, ice cream would be really nice. We're having lots of turns where we don't play a lot of cards. Iron Wave, pre-upgraded is nice. Clothesline, we don't need. Corruption, we don't need. I don't think we want an Iron Wave. We want to play like Rage, well, I mean, Rage Iron Wave is actually a good combination. It's upgraded, too. You know what? I'll take it. We'll take the lower odd bet of getting more money, and it failed. <laughs> Elite combat with plus two strength. Dude, that seems really nice. We can't remove a card, but starting elite combat's two strength up means that it's 
easier for us to fight elites, and it means that against the uh, two elites before the heart fight, we have a, a more... Well, we just have a stronger advantage, basically. Our advantage is, hey, we got strength. So you've got to get dusted. We're taking zero damage. Thank you, Shockwave. I need to focus on the lifts. I know. We'll focus on the lifts. This is a weird turn. Still taking no damage, but that was a, a very slow setup turn. We have to upgrade, like, these defense. Actually, what we need to do is remove the defense, really. But it's unfortunate that this question mark is combat. Kaka! Good. There's only one bird left. He is doing 11 damage, though. But we'll draw. Defend. Wreck. Strike. 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 He's dead. Healed up the full. Uh, disarm, I think you kind of have to take. We'll choose a card to add in. Hopefully it's going to be good. I would add in a true grip, but we would have to upgrade it. Metallicize could be nice. Another rage could be good. A headbutt. Another uppercut. If we've got this strength, like a sword boomerang would be really nice, actually. Yeah, I think a sword boomerang is what I would like. But we have to lift. We'll fight the elite. We have a disarm, so we can de-strength him if he is going to be the um, Book of Stabbing. He's not. He's just the Gremlin leader. He's going to attack turn one. He's a big pain in the butt. We have four strength up and a shockwave and a limit break. So we're going to shockwave. Limit break. Defend. 22 damage. 22 damage. It's not enough to kill the mad gremlin. It's enough to kill this guy, though. Strike. I can only play six cards per turn. Gotcha. I was going to make me the Iron Wave free, but I forgot about uh, Velvet Choker. It's not going to come up that often, but it did come up on that turn. And I did fail to remember it. We only have so many cards to play here. 13 damage to a random enemy three times. Let's do this first. And I will bash you to kill you. We're not taking that much damage. For an elite fight, this is actually going quite well. Although I do need cards to play on this turn. <laughs> I don't really have a boss killer card like Bludgeon. Strength is my boss killer right now. It's buffing. Can I kill him? Oh, I absolutely freaking can. Maybe not on this turn, but on the next turn I can. Yeah. That's fine. Strength right now is my boss killer. You know, we can get... Once we Gurya, we'll have six strength after we play Limit Break. We can play Limit Break multiple times on a fight. We need to add in a headbutt, probably. But that's going to be, uh, you know, my win condition in all likelihood. That and weakness, vulnerability, disarm, stuff like that. I don't think we need any more of this. We need to lift. So there's our strength. It took a lot of resources to get this strength because we had to... Uh, Use three campfires for it, but that's okay. Uh, Ma Bank. Ma Bank. I'll take it. The extra gold is nice, and ideally we won't find a shop. We're gonna take five damage. I would like to heal a little bit more, but that's okay. Would like a Reaper. Reaper would be nice. Eh, I should have probably disarmed you. I, I wanted to disarm the Mystic because I figured we, we would be killing the Centurion, but he's still not dead. <laughs> Four, five, 
and we're out of energy. But that's fine. We'll be able to kill him on the next turn. I need higher cost cards? Not necessarily. What I need is to upgrade cards. That would be more valuable to this, uh, this run right now. More rare cards and more uncommon cards would be nice. Better, uh, better upgrades would be nice. Removing some strikes and defends is a big part of that, and now we can start working on that. Five strength up. Scary. We have no attack, so we'll just play full block. We are weak, but we are five strength up. Maybe we can get limit break? No. One, two. Three. Can only play three more cards. Kill you. Hit you. We're gonna take 11, but for an elite, that's fine. I had to take the strength potion in order to kill the guy on the left, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Forgot about the uh, energy back. I keep forgetting about Gremlin Horn, Happy Flower, Velvet Joker. Forget about everything. But he's dead. Bag of prep. Fantastic. Another in flame? We're seeing red. Seeing red doesn't seem that helpful, but we do have a good potential turn one if we draw it. We can maybe draw into it with Battle Trance and then get more energy to play more cards. It's pre-upgraded. We have a shrug as well. But it also anti has an anti-synergy with Velvet Choker, so I'm going to take Inflame. Thwack, we got knocked unconscious. This is a double elite fight, technically, if we survive it, but right now we're taking 16 damage with basically no way of counteracting that except for a single Iron Wave. So it's one, two, three, four, I keep fucking forgetting about the energy. <laughs> I keep thinking we're gonna have enough energy and we never do. Shockwave is just expensive. I'm so silly about that. Well, we're not gonna be able to kill him on this turn, which is super unfortunate. Hopefully we draw blocks. Well, kind of. I'm gonna take another four. I might still want to try to do um, victory over cowardice, but it's going to be a close call, I think. I'll do it. Risk all or save none! One, two... Okay, two energy. What can we play? Reckless Charge, Sword Boomerang. And then one other card which is probably going to be an Iron Wave. Gremlin Knob is almost dead. We're taking zero damage turn one. That's a pretty good turn one. And we did get the benefit of uh, Sling of Courage as well. We're not vulnerable, but if we put up a block, it's only a block for three. I think I will limit break. Dude, and you know what? Let's put up the block because we're gonna kill the Gremlin Knob on the next turn. So take 11 damage. Kill him. Kill him. Heal for six. We get Shovel and Pear. Shovel is fantastic. Pear is okay. We're gonna find another Elite. Dude, why not? We're go I'm gonna go super risky on the elites. <laughs> Shockwave, Inflame, Limit Break, Good Instincts, take 
two damage. I will take two damage. I will use Thorn's Potion, though. Took two damage. This guy, he's going down as soon as I get my, my strength up. I'm like powering up. I'm like, and he's just shiving me to death as I'm slowly getting powered up. It'll happen, don't worry. There we go, easy. We got more max HP, which is actually quite nice. Warcry, Thunderclap, Burning Pact. No, don't think we need him. You know what we can do? Dig, recall, rest, or upgrade. I don't think we need to rest. I think I would rather smith, but what would I smith? I don't know. Maybe we should just rest. Next floor, we'll uh, try a little bit more of a passive route with the shovel. Not fight as many elites. We have to fight at least the burning elite, but... It's fine. I'll save the attack potion. Resting is for wimps. Dig, dig, dig. Nah, nah, nah. Yo. I'm waiting on the uh, attack potion until I can double up on my strength. But it ain't happening. Battle Trance. Actually, can I kill you? Almost cert. Well, I'd have to uppercut and then these. Okay, Battle Trance. There we go. Inflame. Limit Break. I can play three more cards. One. Shit! I'm stupid! He's gonna live! Dude, Velvet Choker actually starting to be a pain in the ass, mostly because of that frickin' madness. An available username, thank you for the follow. And definitely not Brazilian, hello, welcome. Stream is going just fine today, thank you very much. Yeah, Velvet Choker starting to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Sword Boomerang. Three, four, five, six. Another 25 damage, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna be just fine on this fight, but Starting to think madness plus the Velvet Joker is not going to work long term. Choker is pure evil. Choker can be really good, but that madness, because you got to play madness and then uh, the other card that madness makes free, and you got to play other cards before you can play the madness. It's uh, being a little bit finicky. Yo, we got to take Sneko. One, two, Three. We only have four cards that are expensive, but I still think you take Sneka. We have four energy. We can make it happen. So we have to hit the Burning Elite. We want to hit Campfires. We want to hit Question Marks. We want to remove cards as well, but we can wait for removing cards for the next floor because we're going to have like, we're going to have a lot of gold on the next floor at this rate. So let's actually go uh, early shop, I think. I've got too many zero cost cards. I think we'll I think we'll be fine. We'll start removing cards is the thing. Gets killed by a jaw worm. <laughs> I mean, we could die. That's always a possibility, but I, th I think we'll be fine. I'm hoping we'll be fine anyways. Uh, could inflame again, but I think for two it's too expensive instead. Just do it like that. Take one. Although I should have played inflame, I suppose. Give me a limit break. Sword boomerang, you're dead. So now I'm not gonna add in cards if they're not expensive. 
Oh, you know what? Fuck. Shockwave is always going to be two, by the way. They're, due to the bug with Sneko Eye, Bag of Prep, and Bottle Lightning, we're only going to get a two energy sho Shockwave. It's so stupid, but it is what it is. I, I wish that they would change that because it's stupid. It's kind of horrible that anything that's put into a bottle does not get affected by Sneko if you have Bag of Prep. It's like a, a three-part requirement for this weird edge case to actually activate, and it's just super, super, super dumb. Anyways, we gotta knock you out. Well, it's very unfortunate. You know what? Well, now we'll do it. Hey, this is what we're looking for. Limit break. Reaper, get back up to full health. This deck is quite good at getting up to full health. With that Reaper, with lots of strength, we can actually... <sighs> nah. We can actually heal up very easily. Dude, I don't know, we could take... Better block cards with the Evolve. I really like Evolve, so I'm gonna take it. And then we're gonna get Panacea. We're gonna start removing zero cost cards. I'm gonna remove Madness. And I will also take the Orange Pellets, because I think that maybe we can actually play a power, a skill, and an attack on the Heart, and then clear our negative traits. Because stabbing is the hardest boss, he is tough. Again, two energy shockwave, yay! There it is. 13, 13, 16. Is that enough for a kill? Almost certainly not, that's only like 30 some, that's like 42 damage. Well, you know what, let's limit break. Strike, strike. If we're not gonna get up to full health, or sorry, if we're not gonna be able to put up enough block, let's just remember we have Reaper. We can play Reaper for good healing. So, Inflame, Sword Boomerang, Shrug, Defend, Defend, and then uh, an Uppercut gets a kill on one of them. We don't need to kill him. but I'll do it anyways. And then next turn we will get Reaper. They're gonna have a little bit of block, but we're eight strength up. Reaper should be able to do enough. Yeah. Didn't quite heal up to full, but it doesn't have to heal us up to full every time. Perfected Strike, <laughs> no thank you. Although, I mean, it is a two energy card, but it's also just trash. We don't have a lot of strike cards in the deck, so I'm not going to take it. I want to thin out the strikes, not add in a card that benefits from more strikes, you know? So one, two, three, four. I'm going to take five. Five is not a bad number to take. Then we'll Limit Break, Shrug, Evolve, Battle Trance, Uppercut, Strike. Seven, much better. We will be weakened, vulnerable? Yeah, both. But not bad. Flame? I mean, another uppercut. 40. Seven, okay. <laughs> Much better. We'll let Reaper come back around, hopefully. Give me Iron Wave. Give me the Shrug first. 
I might be able to draw Rage. 15, not a problem. Don't want to go, you know, too much further than that. A couple of attacks is all you need. Iron Wave. That's perfect block. Again, just waiting for the Reaper to come back around. I, I, technically, we don't need it. We're going to heal for six. That's nearly full. So if we want, we could just hit him. And then uh, put up some block. This is a very annoying fight, but we're, we're handling it nicely, I think. Good. 88 of 89. That's perfect. Uh, I will take Ancient Potion, Speed Potion. It could be extremely valuable. And I'll take a Whirlwind for Crowd Control. It's the first Crowd con Control card we've added to the deck. But, I think it's good. No reason to play the Whirlwind. Why do I have zero keys? Because we have to do one, two, three. We can get we can get the keys in like these three beacons actually. Red key, green key, blue key. That's why I don't have the keys. I just haven't gotten to them yet. <laughs> Could also speed potion on this turn, but it's more I'm more about trying to get the Reaper to heal me up to full at the end of this. So Limit Break. Not even gonna play Reaper right now. I wanna, actually, I mean, it heals me basically to full and we need the healing. Oh, so I'll play it. There's, you know, the hope is that we'll kill him pretty shortly. Why is the giant floating Maw easier to kill than the baby ones? Cause the baby ones get like six strength up on turn one and do 20 damage each. This guy just buffs. That's pretty good. He's got 13 HP, we're at full health. Yoink! There's the Whirlwind. Power Potion, really good, but Artifact Speed Potion is probably what I'd rather have. So what do we do? Smith, rest, dig, or recall? I'm gonna get all three key pieces right now. We're gonna recall, we're gonna fight the Burning Elite, and then we're gonna get the chest, and then we have to get rid of the chest to see what's, or to uh, get the key that's inside of it. That's okay. So, what do we want here? Probably Shockwave, Limit Break, Sword Boomerang. Ooh, I think an Uppercut Whirlwind is really nice. We can also play Panacea for no reason. We don't need to double tap Reaper, but... I mean, technically double tap Strike is more damage, but a double tap Reaper gets the kill on both of the enemies. No, no, no! I wanted to see what card we drew. We drew, but we we don't need to save Reaper if we can kill the enemy in like two turns, you know. Inflame, Battle Trance. Are we not confused? How did the how did that happen? <laughs> Wait a minute! How did that actually happen? Orange pellets removes confusion, and you still get the card draw but you don't get the negative from confusion. What? I had no idea. That is awesome. That is OP. I'm noticing the chat, by the way. The stream is working fine for me. I'm not noticing any downtime. Let me alt tab just to make sure. You guys are so needy. Stream looks fine for me. Just I'll just uh, 
refresh if it's not working. But yeah, uh, pellets, really nice. You actually can get the two additional cards from Sneko without being confused if you can activate orange pellets. I had no idea, and that's effing awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. So, Anchor, oh, I love Anchor, but we have to get the key. Do we fight an elite? Honestly, I feel like we do fight an elite, especially adding in a heavy blade. We're actually quite strong. Although, if we just go and go to the campfire, we can just dig up a relic. So let's just dig up a relic. Bottled flame, put an attack in your hand. If we put an attack in our hand, it's going to be affected by or it's it's not going to have its energy randomized. However, just like putting a whirlwind in our hand could be really good. Sebses, seb seb seb. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. You notice the orange pellets thing like last floor? Ah, I did not. Notice that you noticed, but then I noticed. So I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. Just give me the gold. We take a little bit of damage, but we can get that back super easily. Uh, I think we're going to get another relic. Blood vial is not that good. It's another shop. Immolate is nice, but I think we just want to remove more basic strikes. We could get more potions, but we can also get potions in the future. Shockwave. I mean, this is what I'm thinking about with, like, Shockwave Whirlwind. Because it's, like, 48 damage to every enemy. I mean, if we do this, it's lethal to everyone. I like that combination. Power through totally works. So does Pummel. And I think what we actually want to do, like, we could upgrade Limit Break. But I think I just want to dig up more relics. Art of War is fine. Okay. Awakened one. We don't play too many powers. There's a couple of, uh... Just a couple of, uh... The, 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 the strength ups. But we have a Limit Break to also give us a strength up. Shockwave! Limit break. Good instincts. Ash. Rowan. And the defend. We can save the disarm and play it later. Your guys' twitches are not working. That's not on me. That's probably on Twitch's end, unfortunately. I hate to say it. But it happens. What if we Rage Double Tap Iron Wave? That's pretty good damage and pretty good block. Gotta actually play the Double Tap. And actually, if I play in Flame, that removes our uh, confusion. I kind of like that. Let's do it. It makes him stronger, but we're no longer confused. So, you know, if I get a freaking heavy blade, I can play a heavy blade. Can't play much else on top of that because we have nothing that costs zero, but, dude, it's, we basically have plus two card draw every turn. That's awesome. I will play Evolve. It means that I can play the, uh... Oh, wait a minute. The cards stay their previous cost forever. That's so weird, but it makes sense. I guess if you think about it. So Battle Trance will now always be three. That's so strange. So like Disarm, in order to play, I have to spend three. I don't want to spend three. But Good, in good Instincts and Defend are both zero, and Power Through is still one. Weird. So one, 
two, three, four, five, and uh, give me a six. You, oh, you know what? That would have been a perfect turn for disarm. We would have taken a little bit of damage, but we had plenty of energy. Uppercut is always going to be three. That's unfortunate. Panacea is going to be two until we play it. He's also not weak anymore. Eighty-one damage. We got him. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Can't strike him. Toss out a whirlwind for no reason. We're gonna get him. We're gonna make it to the heart, I think. Well, we're gonna make it to the elites, anyways. One, two, three, four, five. And then the whirlwind to end it? One. Two, three, four, five, and then a whirlwind to end it. That's not a great turn, but we're only taking 20. We ha Again, we have the Reaper. We can heal up to full. It's not that bad. I think you definitely want to play a Heavy Blade. Although, again, an uppercut would uh, weaken him severely. We could uppercut Iron Wave. Sure. Uppercut Iron Wave. Reduce the damage we're taking. Eventually get Reaper out. I like this turn, because we have good blocks. Cheap blocks, rather. Taking nine damage. Toss out that heal. Fourteen times. Why are you getting stronger over time? <laughs> it feels like he's getting stronger. Um, it's not weak anymore. Power through. Uppercut. And just give me the, uh, the strike. We're gonna take another fifteen. Just fine. Sixteen damage. Rage, good instincts, defend, bash. Probably a good time for the disarm now. Although we could have played the uh, the boomerang, but I don't think it would have gotten a kill. We still have more work to do here. Two, three, four. We're gonna take a, a nice big hit. We're gonna be at a lower amount of HP than I would have liked but we're at least still going to be alive on this one. 21, 31. We'll heal up because we're going to another floor, but we're going to kind of rely on the Reaper to heal us after that elite fight on the next floor. Does this boss, boss normally have 10 regen? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Boss always has regen. We could rest. Kind of feel like upgrading the double tap would be good, but because of the um, Velvet Choker, probably not. I also worry about not being able to do a lot of damage on the fight. I might just want to upgrade the Limit Break so we can play it multiple times. And then... Oh, Vyra would have been really good to buy. Then we'll get, like, a Strength Potion... Headbutt, bring back Limit Break, try to play into a Reaper, and maybe maybe that'll uh, let us live. So this is going to be a bit of a struggle, I think. Two. Fifteen. Sixty damage to everyone. We're gonna take a, a big hit on this turn. We can play four more cards. Fend Rage. Maybe like a... Defend Rage, maybe like a Strike Whirlwind? Which 
should probably turn around. Gonna take a big hit, waiting on Reaper. And they are not being uh, shielded on this turn. 51 damage. Cannot inflame limit break into a heavy blade, unfortunately. We can turn around. We can disarm. If only the limit break was cheaper. So what, what can we play? We can play Limit Break or Disarm, Power Through or Inflame, but we can play an Iron Wave. I think we're gonna just rely on the Reaper, so I think we probably wanna like, Inflame, Limit Break, Iron Wave, we'll live. And then on the next turn, ah, we should definitely play Power Through, but I mean, we can play Limit Break instead of Inflame. Okay, so Limit Break, Power Through, we'll turn around. We're gonna take 18. We're gonna, I'm gonna hope that we can get a like double tap Reaper on the cheap. We didn't get double tap Reaper, but we did get Reaper. Though it's not cheap. And it's not even gonna break through the block, unfortunately. Might be dead? I don't know. We can put up 10, 20, 33 block. We have 68 HP, which is not living. We would have to turn around to live. But we don't have any zero cost things that let us turn around. So we're dead currently. I think we're just straight up dead, actually. Which is a shame, because this was a fun run. Just trying to think. Gaining strength doesn't matter. Reaper can do 18 damage on its own. We played the dex potion, defend, defend. Good instincts, 33 block, 68 HP. We're gonna take 69 damage. There's no way we can live. Strength potion doesn't do anything. Ancient potion doesn't do anything. Now I can hit for 25, I can hit for 21, but we're not killing the spire shield on the left at all. Even if I inflame, even if I strength, you know, if I gain four more strength, then this will do like 30 damage, which just gets through the armor, and this will do 30 damage, which gets him to half health, but I don't have any more cards that I can play. Headbutt, Headbutt doesn't do anything. Headbutt will take a card from my discard pile and put it on top of my draw pile, but I can't draw it. I have no draw potions. Hmm. So yeah, nothing we can do will actually let us live here. We don't have Lizard Tail, we don't have the potion that brings us back to life when we die. Try and get a Reaper. I have a Reaper! <laughs> pay attention. I'm the one who says that. I'm, I don't pay attention to chat half the time. <laughs> but no, there is no way that we live here, I, I don't think. Although, like, if we turn around... Maybe. So, like, if we speed potion, turn around with the strike, play defend, play good instincts. Maybe. Drink. Turn around. Play defend. Play good instincts. Might as well play the inflame. You know, here's hoping. <laughs> I think we will live with 2 HP? 2 HP? Is that correct? It's 2 HP. No double tap Reaper. Uh, let's see if we can draw a Reaper. Okay, we have a Reaper. <laughs> I think you drink the Strength Potion, you double tap, you Reaper. We're at 60 HP. 
Okay, okay. Now, really would like to kill you. So I'm gonna kill you. And then we're gonna just power through and not die and not take any more damage. So that was extremely close. I was uh, certain we were gonna die, but we didn't. Instead, we're gonna heal for six. We're gonna get a lantern, which is nice, another potion, and uh, honestly, screw it all. Heart. A zero energy limit break. Now, are we gonna play an attack, a skill, and a power on this turn? We could. That will remove confusion. And then we can always play Ancient Potion to not be vulnerable on the next turn, just in case we can't do it again. I think you gotta play in Flame. We could also play Shrug, and then we can play Whirlwind, Whirlwind for zero, which I kind of like. So give me a Shrug. Okay, in Flame. Limit Break. Shockwave, Whirlwind, and then give me the Ancient Potion. We're not confused anymore. And we're only taking 33. We, we can remove Frailty and Weakness. It's gonna require the Defend, but that's okay. Oh, but we only have three energy, we can't do it. No, we can do it, we just can't play Uppercut, which is fine, we don't need to play Uppercut on this turn. So give me uh, Essence of Steel, Inflame, Defend, Iron Wave. We lose the uh, Frail and Weakness, which isn't that important, but it is just nice to do, I suppose. We can put up more block on this turn. We can also Reaper if we want for 24 block. One, two. Three. I think we're gonna wait on the Reaper. I think we should hit him. But I think we're gonna wait on the Reaper because I want a Reaper with more strength and we're gonna get Limit Break on the next turn. So here's Limit Break. And Evolve and Panacea, that's actually pretty nice. No block though. One, two, Three. I we should have raged Heavy Blade as the first thing we did. It doesn't matter now. The stupid. I mean, we could have saved like three damage, I think, which would have been nice. Dude, Heavy Blade, really freaking good. It's another 200 damage. Uh, I think we will defend Iron Wave. We're living, and now is when we want Reaper. Double tap Reaper, ideally. Look, sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yes, that limit break will be zero. Forever and ever it will be zero. And uh, there we go. Easy. <laughs> wow, from, from I was certain we were going to die on the elite fight to having beaten the heart after healing to full with a double tap Reaper after the double tap was three energy thanks to Snekoi after playing orange pellets to remove confusion. Oh my God. We've freaking done it. That was unexpected. <laughs> I was certain we were gonna die, but Ironclad, level 12, complete. Alt-tab to make that note. We didn't perfect any bosses, but that's okay. Yo, we've done it! So Sneko is such a weird take there. It's, first of all, because of the negative interaction with bottled anything 
and the backpack. If you have the backpack, a bottled lightning or bottled anything, and Sneko, for some reason, those specific cards that were bottled will not be Sneko'd. They will maintain their cost. So I was constantly playing Shockwave for two energy. It's annoying. But also, I had no idea that orange pellets would actually remove Sneko. I never even thought about that. That's such an interesting thing to consider. Like, if you can make three things bottled and play them at, you know, at the beginning of combat, you can remove Sneko every turn, every combat, rather. That's pretty freaking cool. I, um... I also think that it's very interesting that those cards maintain their cost in the future when you redraw them. It, it makes sense, because the cost is randomized, and then it just doesn't get re-randomized in the future. And it's not like it gets reset either, because, you know, there's cards that make cards free for, for combat, for a turn. You know, Sneko plus um, a defect deck with a hologram. If you hologram back a card, that card that you hologram back is going to maintain its cost. All for one with the Sneko Eye in a defect deck. You can all for one back anything that costs zero. It makes sense that it would maintain its cost. But I've never thought about Sneko Eye with the pellets before. That's really, really cool. I don't want to replay the credits. <laughs> Confused is a debuff. It, it is a debuff, but I thought that... I honestly thought that it was going to be a permanent debuff. But I guess it makes sense because it says, Start each combat confused. Confused is a debuff. Orange pellets removes all debuffs. It, it makes sense. But it, it was unexpected because I didn't think that they would allow it, honestly. I thought that they would make it so that you had Sneko effect confusion permanently. That's not how it happens. It's actually kind of a cool synergy between them. But dude, good deck. Um, lots of strength car strength cards. Uh, we got the perfect draw exactly when we needed it. Double tap Reaper saved the day, brought us back up to full health. That's why I did not play Reaper on the previous turns. I just wanted to block through it and gain strength as much as possible, and it worked. We healed 100 HP, and we lived. I'm happy. I'm happy because it's another victory, and it means that every character now is at least Ascension 13 or higher. Fantastic. Anyways, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Slay the Spire.